This presentation summarises some of the salient facts brought out by the BBC's programme about Silicon Valley's mission to connect up the digital world through social media platforms such as Facebook and presents some of the downsides such as the ability to disrupt politics and allowing the spread of fake news. This programme was aired in August 2017. The program was presented by Jamie Bartlett, an investigative journalist, tech blogger, blogger for The Telegraph and director of the Centre for the Analysis of Social Media for Demos in conjunction with the University of Sussex. So he is highly placed to analyse the subject. Many of the revelations have also been supported by other outlets including Bloomberg, USA and UK National Papers. It is suggested that Donald Trump was inadvertently helped to win the presidential election with the help of Facebook, with their secret algorithms and online tracking. This is what social media companies do, amongst other things, for profit by helping advertisers target their markets. So now it's creating social media algorithms rather than sending out targeted mail shots that people used to do in the past. Social media companies can determine people's personalities based on what they have liked, in quotes, online. This includes personal traits such as political and religious views and sexual orientation. It is suggested that this is the method of how Donald Trump came to power by promising to control immigration, building the wall and America first, partly as a result of the feedback from these types of algorithms. Apparently, it has also backfired a little because Barack Obama adopted a similar policy by apparently generating or promulgating fake news. Unfortunately, the tech gurus of Silicon Valley are shaping the modern digital world, which is far away from the original concept of Mark Zuckerberg's idea of connecting his friends when he was at university. This has partly been allowed by the Telecommunications Act of 1996. This is the United States Act, which was designed to civilise the internet, but buried deep within the Act was a section called Section 230. This literally says that no provider or user of an interactive platform shall be treated as the publisher or speaker of any information provided by another information content provider. Basically, this means that the platform operator cannot get sued for something they allow to be posted because they are not themselves considered the publisher. Although now governments are trying to instill some sort of control whereby they are making platform providers take down socially unacceptable content. Fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your point of view, this Silicon Valley's persuasion machine is now being exploited by political forces, state actors and commerce it may well now be an unstoppable force. Unfortunately also, the children of tomorrow who bury themselves in digital devices, text each other and live on Facebook all day are losing the capability of direct social interaction and are being moulded by fake news and having their thoughts manipulated.